Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about Max Sports Collapsible Folding Outdoor Utility Wagon. I'm going to start this review by saying the item is not recommended for a kid use, uh, but we have found ourselves using it to pull our two and a half year old around. I was looking for a wagon that was apartment friendly. So we came about this wagon when we went to go visit Nate's grandparents in Florida. It was a gift they received and uh, we ended up using it for so many different things. We're going to the beach with towels. We ended up pulling Nate in it. He fell asleep in it. And then when we got home, we had to get one ourselves. Uh, we love the wagon so much. It's easily foldable. When it collapses, it's about eight inches wide. And we're really struggling because Nate loved his radio flyer wagon and we love the nostalgia behind it. But we just couldn't fit one in our apartment. It's really bulky and it doesn't really have a lot of room to offer when you use the wagon. It's kind of like two seats. You can't put much stuff in it with you. So some details about this wagon. Um, it's really roomy. It's pretty deep. And I think I mentioned before that when you fold it, it's only about eight inches thick, which is really good for apartment living. Uh, when you open it up, it's about 35 by 20 by 22. So it's fairly large. And it has, um, it's made out of canvas material for the interior and then the exterior is the frame I guess I would call it is made out of steel and the wheels are like solid rubber so everything is really sturdy the canvas doesn't come off of the frame so if it needs to be washed you really gotta spot wash it um, it can't be put in the, the washing machine unfortunately but it is really tough fabric which is really good and it is easily cleaned when you're spot cleaning it just a little bit of soap and warm water and when you do fold it up, it, it does come with a carrying case. I actually haven't used a carrying case yet, but I understand why it would be so convenient. So it holds up to 150 pounds. We've never pushed this limit. We haven't even gotten close. Our son is about 30 pounds and we'll throw in like, you know, a skateboard, his backpack with snacks and other things. And the weight seems pretty even. Um, I do recommend though, if he's gonna be sitting in it, or if your kid's gonna be sitting in it for a while, to like put down some type of padding or like a towel we've used. It's not a very even bottom, it's not a firm bottom. And there are no straps included, so, it, and also there are no brakes, so that's one of the reasons it's not recommended for kids, but luckily Nate stays pretty still and listens really well. So he, it's not too much of a concern, I definitely feel more concerned when it's just me pulling him, because I have to keep looking behind me to make sure everything's okay. But when pulling him with my husband, I have no problem with the no strap. So it does have a, a lot of functioning features. It has two cup holders in the front, which I love so much. It also has an adjustable handle that goes up and down, and it also, when you push it up, it will lock, which is really cool. Comes in a variety of colors. Uh, in Florida, we use like the forest green one, and here we got the blue one. I really don't think the color makes too much of a difference, but it is nice that you have a choice. So some of the places that we've taken it, like I said, we've brought it to the, the beach when we were at his grandparents. I haven't taken it on the sand up in New Jersey, but I think that it'll be okay. It's definitely better than having nothing, but the tires are definitely not made for the beach. We, we take it to the park, which is all paved, so it's pretty easy to get there, but we also take it to the library. When we go there, we actually have to go over some uneven uh, sidewalks, really old broken sidewalks, like kind of shooting up a little bit. And it's really done so well over these uneven surfaces and even going off a flat surface, like off concrete grass with bumps and everything. It's been really good. It went over gravel. It was bumpy, but Nate held on and it was fine. So overall, it is a little expensive. It's about a $60 wagon, but radio flyer wagons are also expensive. And I think this one has so much more value if it suits your kid. So I'm gonna leave a link below if you're interested in buying it. And if you have any questions about the item, please leave a comment. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe.